So if you're familiar with A10 Mini Pro, you know that the new ISO model records all four tracks simultaneously along with the audio. So I have upgraded my A10 Mini Pro to an A10 Mini Pro ISO and you can kind of see it here. It looks exactly the same. The only difference is the ISO on the end of the name here. And of course, the big difference inside is it records all four channels. So I've got uh, Cam 3, which I'm on now. I've got Cam 1 that I can switch to. And then as my fourth input, I actually have my computer screen here where I have the ATEM control software, which mimics the uh, panel. So I'm sure everybody's familiar with this if you're a user of the ATEM. Okay, so I have now copied these files uh, from the uh, Samsung T5 here uh, to my computer. I plug the T5 back into the uh, ATEM Mini. And so we'll look at these files on the computer. Uh, as you've seen in other videos, there's my, there's my four clips. Uh, they're all the same length, I think. If you look here, command I. Okay, so yeah, so if you look here, they're all duration 334. And, well, it did it in the first two, I'm not sure what happened here. But anyway, so there's, there's that, they're all 1080p, uh, they're all H.264. Okay, so we can close that, close that. Close that, close that, and we're back to the far. So, and of course there's the four WAV files. I'm only using mic input one, so this is the only one I care about there. And here is actually the recording of the program from that session. So you can see here I can call up that. And I don't, there's no audio on it, I guess. Um, but uh, here's the one I'm interested in here, which is the Vinci Resolve file. And we'll wait for that to open. Voila. Loading PIP. And there's my project. So as you can see, it it uh, it got all the cuts in there, switching back and forth, but uh, there's no picture in picture, which there should be right here where I had my ATEM as as a PIP, as you can see there on the macro panel. So the information is actually there. As you can see, there's there still have the files in the media pool, but no PIP. So uh, I can go back. I can go back in here and, and and add the picture in picture. But what I really wanted to do was import this into Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to for the moment. So okay. So hold on. What I could do is actually I'm in the edit mode. I can actually export this as XHTML. PIP test resolve and this is going to my resolve uh, PIP test there I go I could save that conversions okay so that was easy I can quit resolve don't has not been saved no I don't care okay so now if I go back to that disk on these conversions and here's the file I just saved so it's a whopping 5k file it's an XML file I can now open this with Final Cut Pro and I can put it into that library choose voila PIP test and let me open that one 
So there it is. So it looks exactly the same as the rest of those. So, and then here's my, it automatically imported the four media files. Okay, I guess it did not, it did not import the, the audio files by default. That's strange. Okay. So anyway, here's the same exact file and I'm on Final Cut Pro. It's got the cuts, but again, no PIP. So if I want to put my cam two, if I want to make this my PIP, I can just drag this on top. And because it's the same length, it's uh, automatically synced. So I can pick this, I can shrink it, and I can drag it down here. That looks good. And now I got my picture in picture. So, uh, I mean, it's not terrible. Of course, I don't want it to be there. I want to be here. There we go. So now I show my PIP. And if I decided I want to put my cam three, I can actually put myself here just to kind of overdo this. And I can shrink that. See, let's do this. Actually make that big and then I can crop it. There I go there. There I go there. And back to transform. And put him down here in the corner. Put me down here in the corner. Ah no, let's put it up here in the corner. All's good. So now I can watch my video. I've got the computer screen, the uh, ATEM, and I can do uh, fit. There we go. Drag this down here a little bit. There you go. Okay, so now you can see it. Anyway, so pretty easy to edit in Final Cut Pro. Um, I gotta figure out why I did not get the audio file. I guess because I didn't have it in the DaVinci, I didn't have it in the DaVinci project when I exported. That's probably why. So anyway, so um, first day with my Mini Pro ISO, and I guess I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, with the results. I just wish they'd fixed the one bug. Uh, uh, yeah, there's work around, but but you know everything takes time. So there you have it. And I will hit stop. So if I had to do this over, I would go to the computer here, go on, uh, get my clips into Final Cut Pro uh, directly from the uh, portable drive. I'd select my four clips and add the audio to it. Make that a multi-cam. There's my multi-cam clip. clip. Uh, one, save that, and there's my multi clam clip one. I would drag that to the timeline. So there's my angles, there's my four angles on my four different channels, and then I would just play the playhead and basically just rep reproduce the cuts to and then three and then four and back to three so blow that up you can see i just did the cuts there and if i want to do the the uh, picture in picture i know that was cam i know that was cam two yeah there you go so there's the ATEM, drag that on top of here. Again, it's the same length. So select that. Uh, go back here to transforms. Shrink that down. Okay, hold on, let me just, let me get rid of this few angles. Okay, so view. 
25%. So I shrink this down. There's, there's my PIP. Put that up there. And done. So there's my PIP. And if I need to turn it off, I just do a stop, hit my blade tool, and then I could either just kill it like that, and then hit my blade tool again, A, and hit the V key, and turn it back on. So anyway, so you, can, you get the idea, but uh, basically you can either you can either get all the clips already cut with no multicam or you can do the multicam and then reproduce reproduce the cuts and add your own picture in picture so it's not quite as easy as I would have liked hopefully with the next update they'll uh, improve the firmware where this some of, some of this will be automated the PIP was put in there and they made your four clips a, a multicam clip automatically that would be awesome so anyway that's all I have today for day one thanks for watching